Alright people, hey everybody, uh, welcome back again to my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing the new microphone so I hope the audio is gonna pick up so much better and clearer for you guys. Uh, today I'm going to review one of the, uh, the thing that I mentioned to you yesterday. It's the Elgato HD60X, alright? So I got this brand new Elgato uh, since uh, my uh, video, I think my gameplay capture was suffers from uh, screen tearing and also uh, the refresh rates kind of drop, you know, uh, go up and down, things like that, so it's not really stable. And I heard with this thing, you can really get a really stable um, pass-through a really great capture without any screen tearing anything like that so yeah I'm really excited to uh, play with this thing basically uh, but the best of all uh, I'm I have this PlayStation 5 with me <laughs> right now which we're going to be testing in a short while okay so we're gonna be testing oh I don't need this anymore uh, I can record with my microphone now so yeah, uh, I'm just excited to, can't wait to try and play stream from here, from the PS5. We're gonna play Alan Wake 2 again. I'm gonna finish that game because it's so amazing. I love it. Uh, and we're going to use this to capture our gameplay, alright? So hopefully in the next, uh, in the next couple of videos, you're gonna see a much clearer gameplay, a much better uh, video quality and things like that for you to enjoy, alright? So without further ado, I'm gonna unbox this thing. As you can see, look at this, it's beautiful unboxing, and it's just a joy to unbox, you know, brand new stuff, brand new thing, spent a lot of money <laughs> on tech gadgets and things like that it's because I just love them I love technology I love how we live in the best era where technology just available for us everywhere right and it helps us with our productivity helps us with our life uh, I love it okay straight from the box pretty straightforward there's a manual here inside and we have this thing so this is the Elgato, this is the device itself, it's pretty pretty small, so it doesn't take up too much space in your desk, and I heard they really redesigned this port so everything can go both ways from the back, you can just like put it in your table and put the HDMI in and HDMI out without any interference in the, at the front part, so that's really good um, idea from their part. And we have this extra cables, I think it's the extra HDMI and this is just the charging, the USB that you need to plug in into your computer if you're capturing gameplays and things like that. So yeah, we, without further ado, we to test it out. I'm going to well, maybe share you the settings to, you know, uh, make this thing work. So yeah, I'm going to give you a walkthrough step by step how to set this thing up. All right. All right, the first thing we need to do is to hook the power outlet to the PS5, which we already did right away. And we're going to use this HDMI. Um, it's snowing outside, as you can see. So it was really nice and it was really bright and sunny. So amazing. Um, this is the HDMI. We're going to plug it into this HDMI in. Uh, so we're gonna put this right from our PlayStation. I'm going to circle around and see which the where's the port. It's gonna be here. And pardon, I uh, apologize about the cable mess here. <laughs> I'm not really good with cable management because I like uh, my place being messy and all that. It gives you creative freedom you know instead of having a really clean desk I don't like I don't like having a clean desk because like the cable here sort of like a reference a representations of my mind because my mind is a jumble like it went everywhere it has a lot of things going on here so it's almost like the same like this cable it's a lot of mess and it's yours <laughs> all right so we're just gonna put it here 
uh, for us to see for now. Um, the second one would be our HDMI from HDMI out. We're going to put the HDMI out from here that we get from the PlayStation into our monitor right here. So we have the capture on like so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to clean this up later on. Probably going to right there, something like that. But for now, for the sake of trying, we're just gonna leave it be as it is. Um, yeah, this is this USB-C cable, the power outlet that we're going to attach to our laptops. Uh, this is the USB-C. Just gonna use it here. And we are going to take this uh, thing out. All right, so we don't need it right now. Okay, hope I don't break anything. But here goes nothing. There you go, the Elgato is turning on. So as you can see, the light turns on. So it means we're on the right path. All right, let's bring it to our computer and set this thing up. All right, so first thing first, we are going to need to change the settings before the uh, Elgato can start capturing from our video. Uh, what you need to do is go to settings and go to um, compressor system. And the, uh, the HDMI, we have to turn off these settings first. So turn it off and afterwards we can start to check the other thing like the display screen and video make sure the resolutions uh, allow refresh rate turn off yeah basically that's all we need to set up for this thing and i'm going to connect back the hdmi so we can get the pass through all right Hopefully this hopefully this will work. Um, now it's working. There you go. So we already got the pass through. Uh, we already using the Elgato here. So as you can see in my browser, I'm gonna get a close up look for this. So as you can see, we already have the Elgato here showing. So I'm just gonna go through and like everything here make sure it covers everything the sound is there uh, and if I use this you know it's already capturing the gameplay so I think there isn't much thing that you can set up basically pretty much everything is already as it is yeah the audio bit rate make sure it's the, the highest one. Video encoder, the video bit rate. I'm pretty sure you can just like leave it as is. Um, recording path. Yeah, you can create your own captures here. I'm just going to give it a new name. Maybe I'm gonna give folder I'm just gonna use this 4k capture there you go. so all the video is gonna be in 4k high quality I'm gonna use this recording format make sure we change it to QuickTime and the encoder as always H264 oh, sorry actually start recording so we're gonna start you know with this game let's see how this looks so yeah I think uh, we're going to just record for a little bit and then I'm going to check if it's the right format for our video and things like that but looking at the way things are I think it's it's working by now and I just want to see once we hit the uh, the gameplay I just want to see how good this will look 
haven't been here before. All right. Um, now that we have the uh, recording, I'm just going to go ahead and try to open it. Uh, here we got the 4K capture already here, right here. So it's pretty quick, as you can see. It doesn't take too much time to upload 4K here. So I'm just going to take a look at the format, see how this thing looks and all that. Let's pause it for a second. But Okay, here we go. So much better guys, so everything is recorded in 60 frames per second in a 4K resolutions. So super clean, audio is in, the screen is there. Love it. I'm going to port this into my uh, iPhone and we're going to see how this thing looks, you know, side by side, alright? so. Okay, so now as you can see, it's uh, the setup is pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, it's pretty easy to do. You can also find some tutorials on YouTube and things like that if you if you are stuck uh, in some things, like you are unable to connect it, like get it showing, or even uh, the audio is not properly channeled. So you can look look them up. Uh, but for now, as you can see, we are already resuming the game. I can play it right over here. And we can already see like the recording device. Basically, I can just start recording. And yeah, there we go. Alright, so next video I'm going to give you more uh, gameplay. So hopefully we can finish this game and I can show you more about the, the beauty of this landscape and also the graphical side of things. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. See ya.